We're currently doing a 30 mile each direction loop. I do this with almost every car that I get just to kind of do a little bit of a range test, MPG test if it's a gas car. Um, the, the trip is sort of downhill on the way there and then uphill on the way back. And so I feel like it's a good perfect loop because you're just going the same route you're just going each direction so it's 30 miles one way 30 miles the next we are in the middle of it right now uh, we're at 37 miles as of right now we're averaging 280 watt hour per mile or 2.8 kilometer no what is it 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour which uh, is I believe, I'm pretty sure it just breaks down to 280 watt hour per mile so, um, so yeah, that's what we're doing right now. And then we're going to take it up and do a CCS test. But I just want to show you guys how a little bit of night drive. All right, we just finished our trip, uh, 55 miles. So I thought it was 60, but it's 55 miles. In my Tesla, we used 10% uh, each direction, so 20% total. Now, obviously, this has a much smaller battery and different you know, outcomes. We averaged 270 watt hour per mile and we ended up with 67, nope, that's the degrees, 62% uh, battery when we arrived here. Uh, and as you can see, acceleration, I did decently well. I mean, I used Blue Cruise the entire route, but I'm assuming acceleration counts when I'm on and off the uh, on ramps. So 62% uh, battery for 55 miles and we'll we'll kind of do some some breakdown of that i mean obviously it comes out to 270 watt hour per mile but um just kind of compare that to some of the others i think i'm going to start a spreadsheet that show uh ranges and how it works between different cars now i was able to confirm this is a select model with rear wheel drive it is a 70 kilowatt hour battery pack so um it's the lowest of the low you can get. Actually, the, there were no added features except for the paint, which was $800 for the white. That's it. This car is base model. So that's our range test. And now we're going to head on up to the nearest CCS charger and see what we're going to get with that. So what we ended up doing here was we took the car on the loop again just to try to deplete the battery so that when we got to the charger, we would be at a more reasonable percent. So by the time we got to the CCS charger, we had 14%, as you'll see in the next slide here. And um, we went to a 350 kilowatt fast charger just to make sure that we were getting the best we possibly could. Um, at 15%, the car peaked out at 112 kilowatt. Now the picture shows 111. It did hit 112 for like a second. And then um, you can see where it just kind of tapers off. And actually at one point here, uh, seems like it might be thermal throttling at 30%. We're at 82 kilowatt. And then I think at 40%, it went back up to 85. Yep. So um, it, you know, the cooling kicked in. It fixed itself there. But uh, the band stayed pretty solid. It didn't taper off at any point. We did stop at 60 just because... You know, the test was really to see what our peak was, and we didn't peak that high. So here are the stats to that, and this is the charging test.